Justin, you feel okay? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Welcome back to another video. This is the procedure day uh, here for my hair transplant. Uh, I'm here in uh, Gangnam, Seoul uh, at Motion Hair Clinic. And I'm joined by da -da -da, <laughs> CH. <laughs> CH is a staff member here at Motion Clinic and he's gonna help uh, film the procedure today for you guys. Okay, so uh, you can thank him for what you're gonna see, all right? So, how do you feel? Did you have good sleep? Uh, good sleep, yes. Uh, nothing to eat. Just, uh... <laughs> Nervous? No. Yeah. Nervous. All right. We have decided to move on with 2,000 grafts. And if needed, we'll extract a little bit more to, you know, make it perfect. Now, what you need to be careful of post FUE or any uh, uh, hair transplant procedure is number one, infections. Now, if you have an infection, just email us, just call us, or if you're around, just visit us. Now, infections can happen uh, on your third, fourth day. Now, when it does happen, you'll, like, you'll have pimples on your recipient area. So if you see any sign of infections or pimples on your recipient area, they give us a call. Now, another thing that could happen is swelling. It's just a slight swelling, mm -hmm. so nothing too serious, but eventually swelling would go away. Now, the reason why customers or people would swell is it's not because of the hair transplant itself, it's because of the anesthesia. Now, if you do swell, it will start on your third, maybe towards your fifth day. It will start from your forehead, comes down to your eye area, chin, and it will evolve. Now, in order to prevent this, we give you an ice pack. Massage it on your forehead, your eye area, your chin, just facial all over. Now, sometimes the donut area could be a little bit itchy. In order to uh, uh, prevent the itchiness, you could also massage this on the donor area. After the procedure, I want you to go down to the pharmacy. The medication contains painkillers, it contains antibiotics, and it also contains a, a stomach reliever. For five days after each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you need to continuously start taking this starting from tonight. So, this is uh, where we're gonna this is where the, all the magic happens, <laughs> right, CH? Is this again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna change it to this, so uh, I'll be back to you shortly. Ta da! <laughs> it's sauna time! <laughs> Not sauna. Can I, can I go to come down outside now? Yeah. Uh, by the way, take a look. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what you're gonna expect when you uh, get changed, the, you, your seat here. So you can wait nervously here. <laughs> you get changed, you put all your clothes in here. So what they want me to wear is basically my socks and my underwear, and that's it. Uh, everything else is this gown that they provide. And this is pretty stylish for me. I think I'm gonna go to Kangnam, uh, clothes like this. Looks good. Fun fact, the manager here at Motion Clinic he actually got his hairline done too. Yes, I did. I always had a wide forehead from birth. Eventually, as I aged, it started to recede further back. So I decided to conduct my first hair transplant three years back. Mm -hmm. In my case, I did 1,500 grafts. This is without products, any products. If you could see uh, on the frontal line, it's all formulated with singular grafts. As you go inwards, it's all multiples. Actually, when I first met you, Jay, mm -hmm. I didn't even know you had a procedure oh, yeah, done. Yeah. I thought you, it was okay. And then <laughs> you mentioned that and I was like, wow. So what is advice during the design? Uh, first, you have to be very picky. In saying, oh, I want much more of a curve, I want much more of a straight, I want much more of a, you know, those kind of stuff. Honestly, I was going to come in here and just you know, let the expert mm. decide what's best mm. for my hairline. Mm. Mm. We're gonna ink the design 
to keep it permanent. It looks so sad. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to army. Yeah. <laughs> and once again, just that the existing hair would grow, and after 10 days, matching your scalp removal day, it'll cover up all the FUE marks. So people would definitely not notice you actually had a hair transplant. Mm -hmm. And on your 10th day after your scalp removal, you are allowed to go to a beauty salon to get a haircut and balancing off your, you know, Hairstyle. My customers would often ask how they should come to the clinic with their hair short or hair long. Longer, the better. Really? Unless you are going for a full shaving method. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a longer hairstyle, you could hide the extraction marks, you could hide the recipient areas. Mm -hmm. But if you have a short hairstyle, then it's better to off to shave the whole thing off. Do you want to Now we're taking around 20 to a 30. <laughs> Over, have you face down. You're doing great. Sorry to ask, mate. <laughs> uh, Justin, I'm oh, sorry. I'm I sorry. <laughs> Good job. Great job. Uh, sorry, great. From now onwards, no pain. <laughs> it's going to be smooth walk in the park. <laughs> 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 So this is the Doshirak. Thank you. It's uh, better than uh, it delicious. Better than Korean air.